Tax season is starting to rear its ugly head. So did you use any decentralized exchanges, protocols, or similar applications in 2021? Are you wondering how you can view your transaction history for tax purposes? Hello, I'm Crypto Casey, and in this video, we are going to learn how we can view and download our transaction history for any activity we may have had on Binance Smart Chain, the Ethereum network, or any layer two protocols like Polygon and Optimism, as well as any decentralized applications like Uniswap, OneInch, Ava, Curve, Yearn Finance, and similar. A ton of people are freaking out about all the transactions, trading, exchanging, lending, borrowing, staking, and all the other amazing magical products and services now at our fingertips with DeFi or decentralized finance, because now it's tax season. By the end of this video, I think we will all be pleasantly surprised at how easy it is to retrieve the information and provide it to a qualified, knowledgeable accountant or to process ourselves. Awesome. Let's learn how to track and download our DeFi transaction history. Before we get started, just want to do a quick shout out to NordVPN. As a crypto investor, using a VPN is an easy, effective, and important way we can further protect our investments, ourselves, and our privacy. I've personally been using them well before I even started this channel. And for a limited time, NordVPN is offering us their two-year plan at a 70% discount, plus one month completely free. Click on the link in the description area of this video to check them out and redeem their offer. Cool. Let's keep this video short and sweet and to the point so we all have that extra time we will definitely need to get our taxes squared away. And if you're here watching this video and are keen on learning more detailed information about crypto tax reporting, how to find a qualified accountant, or even looking to do it yourself, make sure to subscribe to my channel today as I've got a special in-depth series for crypto beginners and experts alike featuring my own crypto CPA who will be answering questions you submitted to me on Instagram and much, much more. And if you aren't following me on Instagram, make sure to use the links in the description area of my videos to access my one and only official Instagram account where I conduct a weekly AMA or Ask Me Anything every Wednesday, as well as some other fun stuff. Sweet, let's get to it. If you have used decentralized financial applications at any point in time, you likely used wallets such as Coinbase Wallet, Trust Wallet, MetaMask, Wallet Connect, Portis, Formatic, or one of the many other Web3 wallets available out there. And here's a tip. If you are new to DeFi or a DeFi guru, the best and safest way to interact with Web3 is by using a Ledger hardware device whose private key was generated offline and connecting it to a MetaMask to interact with Web3 through there. If you don't have a Ledger device yet, you can use the link in the description area to access the correct and official Ledger wallet site, all while supporting the channel. If you have never set up a Web3 wallet and have no idea how crypto wallets work at all, check out my video guide for beginners by clicking on the link above. All right, so now that we've got the Web3 wallets we've used in mind, let's review and download our transaction history using an amazing DeFi protocol called Zerian. You can access Zerian on your computer or mobile devices. So let's start with our computer. Open your web browser and in the URL bar, type in zerion.io. That is Z-E-R-I-O-N dot I-O. Next, you will land on the homepage that reads invest in DeFi from one place. Zerion is the easiest way to build and manage your entire DeFi portfolio from one place. And they ain't wrong. Now, using the blue connect wallet button in the top right hand corner of the screen, we will connect our wallets we've been using in the wonderful world of DeFi. First, just to let you guys know, Zerion does not offer their own user accounts and instead works directly with Web3 wallets like MetaMask, Trust Wallet, and similar. This means Zerion does not own your wallet's private keys and cannot ever access your wallet funds. Zerion does not cross associate wallet data and Zerion never shares your information with third parties. Amazing. So let's click on the blue connect wallet button to get started. Next, you will see a screen that gives you a few different options. You can click on your wallet's corresponding button, whether that be a browser wallet, MetaMask, Wallet Connect, Trust, Coinbase Wallet, Encrypted Inc., my personal favorite, Ledger, or Formatic. Also, if you just have your public wallet address for ENS, Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, or Polygon, you can copy and paste it in the track any wallet field below to connect your wallet as well. So depending on which wallet you use will determine the connection steps you take. However, if you've been interacting with DeFi applications already with this wallet, it will be pretty much the same exact process. So you should be good to go. Here's a quick example of connecting a trust wallet with the QR code. Once your wallet is connected, voila. Welcome to an overview of your wallet. 
In the top left-hand corner, you can see your wallet. Clicking on the arrow to the right of it, you can see options to connect another wallet, manage wallets, or create a watch list to watch other people's wallets. Just a fun fact, if you have anyone's public Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, Polygon, or similar's address, you can paste it here and view all of their transactions. You won't be able to manage their funds or anything, but you can view all of their wallets activity. This is because every transaction that happens on the blockchain is transparent, immutable, and decentralized. Interesting, right? Okay, so on the overview page here, you can see your current portfolio, a small widget showing some history, and below that, a list of your wallet's assets. There is so much more you can do with the Xerian protocol. However, let's stick to the subject of this video where we learn how to access and download our transaction history for tax reporting. On the left-hand side, there is a menu and directly underneath the overview section, you should see a history section. Click on it and bang. Welcome to your wallet's entire transaction history. Everything, and I mean everything, is here. We've got receiving transactions, moving around some gummy bear NFTs, executing some smart contracts, sending ETH, trading on Uniswap, approving lending contracts, claiming airdrops and rewards, receiving random airdrops, the whole kit and caboodle. Brilliant. From here at the top of the screen to the right, there is a download CSV button. Simply click on that to download your wallet's entire DeFi transaction history to provide to your accountant or to process yourself. And if you've got an Android or Apple mobile device, you can also download Zerian's mobile app and connect your wallet to track your DeFi portfolio and activity on the go. If you're looking for something simple to get an idea of where you're at tax-wise with crypto, you can check out tokentax.co. They integrate seamlessly with Zerian and other centralized crypto exchanges like Coinbase and similar to help you get an idea of where you're at tax-wise. Use the link in the description area of this video to access the correct and official site. And if you decide to try out those services, use the coupon code Zerian to secure an extra 10% off. So just to recap to show you how fast and easy this process is, how to download DeFi transactions. In your web browser, go to Zerian.io. Next, click on the blue connect wallet button. Connect your Web3 wallet or paste your corresponding Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, or similar public address in the field provided. Once your wallet is connected and you reach the overview screen, on the left-hand menu, click on the history option. Finally, from here, click the download CSV button and you're done. Email this report to your accountant, CPA, or use it to process your taxes yourself. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more crypto content. And especially hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more in-depth crypto tax information in my new video series featuring my personal crypto accountant. So is downloading your DeFi activity easier than you thought? How are you feeling about the upcoming tax season? Are you ready to learn more about crypto tax reporting? Let me know in the comments below. Be safe out there.